Hello everyone, this is Cheryl with Architect Destiny, where we're building dreams, making plans, and reaching goals. Thank you so much for tuning in for another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a part of my YouTube family, welcome back. Um, I want to do a little bit of a different video for you today. Um, I've been meaning to do this for a while and I'm just now getting around to it. I'll go ahead and apologize in advance. If you can hear my husband mowing the lawn in the background, I'm sorry about that, but he is out there taking care of that, so you may be able to hear a little bit of background noise. Um, but anyway, what I'd like to do today is to share with you a flip through of my cash envelope wallet. Um, I am really enjoying using this. Um, I decided to kind of go to a cash envelope system for some of the items that we tend to like just, you know, just spend random money on without even thinking about it. And just to be able to be a little bit more prudent about that, a little bit more judicious about what we're spending our, um, our cash on that we keep in our wallets. My husband and I both keep a certain amount of cash that we you know, can do just miscellaneous things with. Um, but for the most part, I keep track of certain types of expenditures by using these envelopes. So I just kind of wanted to share that with you and just give you a peek inside of my wallet. There's really not anything in here that I can't show you. My cards are all kind of tucked in there. So um, I'm happy to just open it up and let you take a look. Um, I did purchase this wallet on Amazon. The maker of the wallet is a company called, I believe, Solite. Um, it's spelled S-O-L-I-G-T. <laughs> I, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it correctly, Solite. But um, yes, yeah, so I found this on Amazon and it is a faux leather wallet. They do have different colors if I remember correctly, but I prefer to have the black and it has gold accents, gold zipper, gold, um, um, yeah, zipper on it. And I added this um, wristlet strap. This did not come with the wallet, but I am just so amazed that it matches exactly this um, faux leather has, I don't know if it's catching, if you're catching this on the camera, it has kind of a grain to it. And this strap has the exact same grain. I don't know if we're focusing in close enough for you to see, but I was just stunned by the fact that I could find a strap that matches this wallet exactly the exact same grain it has the gold accents and everything so I was just super happy to find that because I didn't want to be able to just grab this wallet and throw it on my wrist with my key ring and just run to the store um, and I have to you know carry it in my hand like this especially if I'm carrying things around the store I can always just kind of put this on my wrist and you know it's easy to carry so, I did purchase the wallet and the wristlet strap separately, but I put, purchased them both from Amazon. I will link um, the two products below in addition to the, um, this little zipper pouch that I also purchased on Amazon. So, let's just take a look inside. Well, first of all, on the outside, there's a pocket. Um, on the outside, I don't really put anything in there unless I just tuck something in there real quickly quickly to have access to it, but I really don't use this pocket on the outside. Opening, opening it up, um, there is a pin loop, which I also don't use because it kind of bumps up against the other items that I have in here. Um, and also, I don't really like skinny pins. I like fat pins. <laughs> so um, a skinny pin would fit in here nicely, but I just opted not to have a pin in here. But there is a pin loop if you um, would like to have that in here. Um, it did come with, let's see how many, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 envelopes in these really cute black and white designs. And like I said, I think they come in other um, designs on the envelopes as well as the wallet comes in different colors as well. But of course I got the black wallet, so I opted for the black and white designs on the envelopes. They are very sturdy, um, very sturdy cardstock, laminated, um, with a little area here where you could put a label or if you choose to write on them, you can. I don't love my handwriting enough to write on them. And plus, I want to be able to change labels if I want to, if I decide on different categories. So I use my label maker to make my labels and just to cut them and put them on there. Um, the envelopes also, they have a folding top, which I chose not to fold them because I thought it would be more difficult to get into them um, to get my cash out. So I didn't fold them. I just leave them open like this inside of the wallet. Um, you can fold them and there's a little slit here that you can tuck the, um, the lid of the envelope the flap of the envelope into. I don't use it that way. I leave all of my envelopes open, as you can see here. Um, also, really cool, if you don't want to use the envelopes, um, or you don't want to use them in here, or you just decide you don't, you want, you know, you want to take them out, this um, ring system totally comes out of there. Um, it's a totally separate piece. It comes with the wallet, but if you don't want it, you can take it out. It just slides into this pocket here, um, which I thought was really cool. So you can always, you can use this however you want to, just as a straight wallet. Just take this out if you don't want it. Um, oops, it looks like my, I don't know what I did to this. Let me pop my envelope back in here. I don't know how I did that. Anyway. Okay back in there. So, um, I have um, nine envelopes in here. I'm not even using all of them right now. Um, some of them I started out using and then decided, yeah, I don't really need to track cash for that right now. Or, you know, I'm not really buying that much in that category, so I don't really need an envelope in here for that right now. So, um, also for the envelopes, in addition to the envelopes, there are these budget sheets that have um, a category. I wrote mine up here before I saw this. It has a category written right there. Um, I wrote mine up here. Category, beginning balance, and then you can log you know, what you're spending your money on and just keep track of how much is left in the envelope. The way I've set mine up is to have the envelope here with the cash and then the sheet right here so that it's easy to see exactly which envelope the sheet goes with. These two go together. Um, these two go to gas. These two go together. And so on. Um, the categories that I have in here right now, and groceries I'm not really using anymore because when we set up our budget, initially I was buying groceries with cash. I was taking out cash to do that. But then I decided I would rather use the card and accumulate points on our card um, rather than you know using cash for the groceries so this is an old sheet I actually stopped doing that in April as you can see um, so but I still have it in here I may decide I want to do that again or I may decide that I want to tuck some money in here for like extra things that I have to go to the store and pick up in between my bi-weekly grocery shopping so this is a very fluid system. Um, I'm not using this right now for my big groceries, but I may decide I want to tuck some money in there for in-between grocery shopping. So the categories that I have in here right now are groceries, um, gas, dry cleaning, which I haven't been at the dry cleaners in a while <laughs> because since March actually, I did put some money in there because I said I put some money in there this last time I got money for envelopes, but before that I haven't been since March. That's very telling. That's when the whole COVID thing broke out and everything was closed. So I need to check and see if the dry cleaners is even open again. Um, but I did put some cash in there this last time because I think 
all of my husband's uh, shirts are in the dry cleaning basket. So I have dry cleaning, I have eating out, we use this one a lot. Um, entertainment, I'm not using this right now because we stopped going to the movies and things like that. So there's nothing in this envelope right now. Um, so clothes, which I'm not using. I haven't bought any clothes probably since March because I'm not going anywhere. I'm working from home and I'm not really going anywhere. Beauty, I have some money for that. Um, miscellaneous, yeah, that's just what it says it is. And then I have an extra envelope here that's empty, but I just have it there kind of as a pencil board to write on because I have this um, little, a couple of little pouches back here that are not really sturdy enough to write on since my budget log is there. So I put an extra envelope in the back kind of as a pencil board to write on. Then I have these um, little pouches that came six in a pack. I also bought these from Amazon and I will link these below as well. They fit perfectly in here and I just wanted to be able to put a few coupons in here that I knew I was going to go ahead and use. There's one in here that I didn't use and I need to throw it away. This one is expired so I'm going to take it out and toss it right now. Um, so I wanted to make sure I had these in here for when I got ready. They will be in the section of my shopping section of my planner where I have my coupon log. When I go through there during my planning time, I always check my coupon log to see if I have coupons that are about to expire the next week, the week that I'm planning for. If they are, I'll take them out and put them in here so that I can use them. And then this is just like the amounts for each category that I get money out for when I get money out to put in our envelopes. Um, my husband and I also get like an individual allowance that we um, keep in our wallets. That's just our personal money that we can spend however we want. So yeah, and then there is a place for cards, two card slots on the front, there's six card slots on the inside of this side. Here, there's a big pocket that I keep gift cards in. There is a change zipper pouch as well. There's a big pouch here where I keep my personal money. And then there's six more card slots in the, on the back side of here. So there's plenty, plenty, plenty of card slots and um, pockets to put the things that you need and it still closes nicely um, without a lot of bulk. I have all of that stuff in here. Money, nine envelopes, two zipper pouches, lots of cards, cash, change, um, and it still closes very nicely. And you can see it's not very thick. Um, so yeah, I um, really like this. Um, my husband and I have a budget and like I said, um, based on our budget and the things that we like to be able to do just for enjoyment to eat out to go you know pick up something that we want to go grab a coffee or um, things that I need that I need money for since I run like the house errands I go to the dry cleaners you know if we run out of wine or something like that I go to the store and get something like that or you know whatever I like to you know, if we order out food to take out for Friday or Saturday, usually we do that kind of thing on the weekends. We like to be able to pull out our cash and take care of those things and not whip out our credit card for everything. So um, I'm loving using this. It really um, makes me feel a lot more in control of our finances. And that's a good feeling. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little flip of my cash envelope wallet. Um, like I said, every time, I'll, I'll say this as well, kind of how I use it. Um, I will, I have a certain amount that I get out each, um, twice a month, bi-weekly, that I put in the envelopes. And when I add to the envelopes, I write it in red and I put a plus so I can see how much I added. Um, when I use money out of the envelopes, I write it in black and I subtract. Um, how much I spent. So I can always see 
when I put money in and how much and then when I spend money and what I spent it on, where I spent it, um, and then what the ending balance is in the envelope. So that's kind of how I use it. It's not rocket science. It's very simple, but it, like I said, it does give me a feeling of really being in control and being knowledgeable about you know, what we're spending our cash on. And that's a good feeling. So um, I hope that was helpful. I hope you got some ideas. If you don't use cash envelope system right now, maybe it's something you want to try. Um, and it, maybe it'll be helpful to you managing your household finances or your personal finances. So um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you um, have not subscribed to my channel and you find my content helpful and inspirational, please hit the notification bell, the, excuse me, the subscribe um, bell and the notification bell so that you will not miss any of my future content. Please feel free to leave me comments or questions if you have any questions about um, the products that I shared with you today. And like I said, I will link them below. I am starting an Amazon store. I don't have it up and running now. I'm still building it and putting my products into it and getting it all set up. So, you know, if you choose to click the link and buy this wallet, you know, it, I'm not going to benefit from it at this point. I do have this listed in my store for future um, when people watch this video. Um, hopefully they will be able to click the link and go to my personal Architect Destiny Amazon store. But for right now, um, I'll put the link out there and hope that it helps you to find it, the wallet if you choose to purchase it and use it for yourself. Take care until the next time, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.